So when it comes to protest distros, I've never really gotten the point. Main, mainly because most of the protest distros that I know you are usually protesting System D, and I have no problem with System D. I use System D on all of my systems, and it works fantastically well. I understand the point of not liking System D, but I've never thought that that was enough to go create a separate distro that uses a different init in system. So. When it comes to protest distros, I've just never really gotten it. But I think that I'm finally there, but it has nothing to do with System D. So my fellow YouTubers, and I'm not going to name names, they seem to be very happy with Wayland. Now, I've made many videos on this channel over the course of the last three years about why Wayland is not for me, why it hasn't really worked for me. I've tried Wayland several different times on several different desktop environments, several different window managers, and every single time I try, it just doesn't like me. And I am like the, I have like the hardware that is like premier Wayland material. I have an all AMD system. It should work perfectly fine, but it just, it doesn't for me for whatever reason. Now, maybe it's because I'm not you know, experienced enough with Linux, maybe I'm too much of a noob, maybe I'm just a dumbass, I don't know what it is, but Wayland hates me. Now, I have had more success in some situations when I don't make videos on Wayland, so if I just want to use the browser on Wayland, it works perfectly fine. If I want to open up a, a file manager or whatever, that will work. I can do the vast majority of my real work on Wayland just fine, and like it's okay, right? But when I go to make a video or I want to record a podcast or whatever, Wayland's just not there for me. It just doesn't work all that well. So I have been notoriously anti Wayland, but I continue to see a lot of people who use Wayland and are talking about Wayland being the future and how Xorg's horribly insecure and all that stuff is probably true, but I must protest. So this is where I get into the beginning of the video where I talked about I finally understand protest distros. People who are protesting System D, even though System D works really, really well, they don't want to use it because of some kind of either ethical or anti-corporation stance, or they simply think that System D is bloated. So they have their reasons why. For me personally, my protest, the hill that I'm going to die on, the, the hill that I'm going to stand on and just shout out to all everyone... I will stand on that hill and say that I will use Xorg until they don't let me use Xorg anymore. I'm going to use it for a very, very long time, and I'm going to be that person who uses protest distros that only ship Xorg from now on, or at least offer an Xorg version from now on. If your distro, Fedora, decides to ship a desktop environment that only has Wayland, I won't be using it because you're using Wayland and I'm protesting that. Now, normally I think protests are stupid and this one's probably right up there as well, but for me personally, Wayland's not ready yet and the fact that we're pushing this on people or it feels like we're pushing it on people just bugs me to no end. I don't want to use Wayland, therefore I'm not going to use Wayland. And unfortunately for me, that means I'm going to be constrained in the future to what distributions I can use. Because as Brody covered in his video today, Plasma 6 on Fedora is going to be Wayland over only. They're only going to be shipping Wayland. Xorg will not be or will not have a session enabled on that distro at all going forward, at least when that f change is finally put through, right? They're saying it's going to be Fedora 440 whenever it even happens. Like, it's going to happen whether it's Fedora 40 or 41 or whatever. It's going to happen. And that means for me is that as more distros follow that pro way of doing things, you know, once Fedora does something, you know Ubuntu is going to do it, you, you know, distributions like Linux Mint and maybe even OpenSUSE, they're all going to follow in the footsteps of Fedora and will be Wayland only. And that means that as time goes on, myself and others who are very anti-Wayland are going to be pushed off into the protest distros. And in this case, we're not going to be protesting System D. We're going to be having to have distros that are protesting the use of Wayland. And that means we're going to be using distros that are increasingly niche, have less support, less community support, uh, less package support, probably. We're going to be having some problems. And just because we don't want to use Wayland. Now, I understand why this change is happening. 
Xorg is not maintained any longer. We know that. We know that it is a security nightmare. And for those distros that continue to ship Xorg-based sessions of their desktop environments, they have to support those things. They have to solve bugs when things happen. They have to do all of these things in order to make sure that that continues to remain as stable as possible without putting so many resources into it that they, you know, overdo it a little bit, right? So I understand why they've made this change, but damn it, I don't want to use Wayland. Maybe, maybe if it was good for content creation, that might be a possibility for me. Maybe, maybe if there were good window managers out there that had a Wayland session that I could actually use, but there's not really. The, the Qtile Wayland session does not work well for me. I've never been able to actually get it to work with my config. Now, I've theorize that I need to start a new config in order to actually get that to work, and I may give that a try. Uh, I've used Hyperland. Unfortunately, Hyperland doesn't work very well when I'm trying to make videos. It's the age-old problem when it comes to Wayland. It works fine for everything but content creation, and unfortunately, I have a Linux channel that I'd like to continue to make videos for. Until I can go on there and just use OBS and capture a screen without having to do anything funky to actually get it to work, I can't use Wayland. It's just that simple. So I understand that I have ranted and raved about Wayland many times on the channel, but I was triggered today. Uh, thank you, Brody, for your video. It's not really Brody's fault, although he does do an, an inordinate number of Wayland videos. I'm just saying he does a lot of Wayland stuff. He's a fanboy of Wayland, I guess. I don't know. But the point is, is that I was triggered and I needed to rant a little bit because I finally understand the protest guys. The, the people who are out there protesting System D. I'm with you. Not so much on the system D part, but I understand the whole wanting to use something different because the mainstream is going to a, a direction that you don't want it to go. I, I can understand that now. I don't know what that means for me in the future, whether or not I actually go forth in the, on the path that I've laid out here in this video and I start using more niche and niche videos or niche and niche distros as time goes on. I don't know if that's the way I'll end up going or capitulation is always an option. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, I have been known to change my mind just a few times. I, I have definitely done that in the past. It's possible that Waylon gets good enough in the aspect of cat content creation that I can use it. I think actually, while I'm here and I, I'm ranting and raving and rumbling and rambling and all this stuff, I should talk about something else. I think that one of my problems with Waylon may not be that it's not good for content creation, although I, I think that that's the problem. I think my biggest issue is that I don't want to dedicate myself to Wayland because my favorite window manager is Qtile, and I want to be able to go back and use Qtile in my current configuration and all of the scripts and stuff that I've written for Qtile, and I want to continue to do that, which means that in order to do that, I have to be able to switch back and forth if I want to use Wayland. So I want to be able to switch to an Xorg-based window manager and then back to Wayland, back and forth. Unfortunately, at the moment, that's not really all that possible because you have to have certain portals for different things, especially if you're going to use Hyperland. I don't know. Like I said, capitulation is always a possibility, but that's only going to happen if Wayland actually gets better for content creation. I think my biggest beef right now is that OBS out of the box just doesn't work with Wayland. I don't understand this. Like, you have to have a environment variable set in order for window capture to work on Wayland. That's not user-friendly. So until OBS actually supports that out of the box... And maybe that I'm just doing something wrong. Maybe if I'm like was using GNOME, like maybe I should just use. Maybe that's the capitulation that I'll end up having in the future. Is I just end up using the GNOME desktop environment. That just sounds like a future that doesn't really jibe with what I want to be around for. That that sounds horrible. I don't want to use. <laughs> I, I'm offending every GNOME user out there ever. But I don't like. I don't care for GNOME. And maybe. Maybe OBS works fine on Wayland and KDE as well, but KDE 2 is also super buggy, and I've always had problems with KDE. You know what? I'm beginning to think that it's a me problem. It probably is a me problem. I can't help it, though. Every time I've tried Wayland, no matter where it is, I just, you know, it doesn't work for me. So that's it for this video. I've ranted and ram rambled and raved enough, so if you guys in the comment section below could uh, talk about amongst yourself about why either you really like Wayland or you're with me and you're going to stick with Xorg until the boat sinks. 
in the comment section below, let me know which end of that spectrum that you're on. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, leave a thumbs up on this video. I'd really appreciate it. It really does help the channel. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Uh, you can also support the channel by heading on over to our merch store at shop.thelinuxcast.org. There you'll find t-shirts and hats and backpacks and mugs and water bottles and you name it, that kind of stuff is all over there. It's all fantastic, and it helps the channel directly. So I really appreciate that. Anybody who goes over there and checks that out, I really appreciate that. And um, you can tell I'm very rambly today. I can't get the ending right. So anyways, thanks everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, amazing. You're absolutely amazing. <laughs> I can't talk. Yeah, everybody's absolutely amazing. If you support me, thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You're also amazing, apparently. Amazing. Amazing. When did I become Canadian? I, I don't. I can't even do a Canadian accent. I, I just also. I just offend. Not only did I offend everybody who uses GNOME, I've also offended Canadians. So, uh, I. I <laughs> it's been a long day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.